Hi, Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Acrobat Pro to make some minor additions and deletions in an existing PDF. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. So this is a very simple PDF that I have. I've discovered a couple problems with it. I've opened it up in Adobe Acrobat Pro. If you're using a Mac or Windows, it will look exactly the same. The software works the same way. It's a subscription uh, service. I think you pay between 15 or 20 or $25 per month. I use it for my business. There's a link in the show notes so you can subscribe to it if you're interested. Uh, but anyways, I've discovered a couple problems in this PDF that I designed, or actually a designer designed for me earlier. Um, I'm gonna just take care of them right now very quickly using Adobe Acrobat Pro. So the first thing you need to do, open up the PDF in Adobe Acrobat Pro. And then what you wanna do is you wanna select the edit PDF button on the right side of the screen. If you do not see that, go to view, show hide, tools pane. Make sure you can see the tools pane. So I'm gonna click edit PDF. And what Adobe Acrobat Pro does is it basically groups all of the different text elements into little boxes, and then you can start to manipulate them or the text that's within them. So the first thing that I wanna do is, um, You'll notice here that father's full name has a colon after it, but mother's full name doesn't have a colon after it. So I'm going to just add a colon. So I just clicked into the text and I added a colon. So that's all set there. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that the uh, apostrophe here, it's kind of a curly apostrophe, but the apostrophe down here is not. So I'm gonna try to replace that just by typing and see if it works. It doesn't, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy that apostrophe. So I'm highlighting it, and then you do in Windows, uh, control, control C, in Mac would be Command C. So I can do Command C, and then I'm gonna paste it in. So uh, Windows would be Control V, Mac is Command V. So there it is. And then the final thing is there is something that needs to be deleted. I think I tried to manually add a watermark there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see that this box says Copyright I30 Media. If I wanted to, I could just actually move the box up here. All right, if I want that appear appear in that particular uh, position. The problem is I think it'll probably get cut off in printing, so I don't want, I don't want uh, my customers to see that. So what I'm gonna do is just select it. You can see the bounding box comes up there, and I'm just going to press the delete button on my keyboard, and it's gone. If this video helped you out, oh, uh, one thing, one other thing. Uh, be sure to save your work by doing uh, Command C in Mac, uh, uh, Control, sorry, not Command C, Command S in Mac, in Windows uh, Control S, or you can go up to File, and then use the Save the, the Save option here, because you don't want to lose your work, especially after you've done a lot of tweaks. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And also, if you go to in30minutes.com, that's our official website. Check out the books and the guides and the videos that we have here. And also, if the video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And thank you so much for watching.